Uh, hello and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic my friends. My name is LazerJet and today we are doing another World Cup race. And in today's World Cup race we're doing the super mighty speedy high speed electric trains from around the world. It's, it's a working title but there you go. So representing Europe we have the Eurostar, one of my favourite high speed electric trains in the world mind you. Representing the Asia continent we have the super mighty high speed Japanese bullet train. And representing America we have got a classic one and only Amtrak as Seller Express. And we're going to see which one out of these three is the fastest on my new racetrack. And as always, I'm going to be driving the, uh, you know, lovely Superclass 47. That's just sitting there peacefully. So, I uh, hope you guys are excited for this race as much as I am. So, if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. It's going to be an amazing video. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not going to dilly-dally, I'm just going to go straight into the world editor and just program these and just you know, make them go as fast as they can and see which one is the fastest. So, uh, hoo -hoo, back to the uh, lovely programming. So, um, let's have a look, make sure I have to program these right this time. So we've got trains number two, three and four. So we go to train number two and I'm just going to see if this programming still works because it's been a while since I've actually done a... Uh, a race like this, you know, it's been it's been some time. So let's see, let's see if it goes to platform uh twen no thirty four, because uh, I'm just curious to see if it still works. So platform thirty four, yes, is it's it's accepted it, and we'll have you at our hundred and ooh, let's have our hundred and forty percent power. Now that's fast. And train number three, which will be on destination number twenty two. Uh, let's see if I'm just, I'm just, yeah, again, I'm just curious to see if this will work. Uh, no, it's not going to work. Okay, never mind. So let's, uh, let's delete this. Let's go back to engine number two. And instead, let's go down the line a bit and let's have it go here. So platform 30. Let's see if it accepts it. Yes, at 140% power. Loco 3 at destination 18. Let's see if this one works. Yes, it does. And we'll have you at 140% power. And Loco 4, which will be on destination number 19, I believe. Let's see if this will work. Number 19. Yes, it is. it's accepted it. And we'll have you at 140% power as well. Good. Right, there you go. Programming is done. I'm, I'm, just, I'm getting the hang of it now. Normally, it'll take me uh, forever to actually get them all programmed and normally I'd run into an issue or two but no I think it's all programmed and I think we are ready to race and before we start racing I want you guys to guess which one do you think is going to win is it going to be the Eurostar the Japanese bullet train or the Amtrak as Stellar Express leave your answer in the comment section down below who do you think is going to win uh do you know what I actually I actually don't know which one's going to win because all three of these are actually pretty far so this this will be interesting so America Asia or Europe which one is it's going to be victorious. Well, let's find out. So let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? I think so. Let's get racing. And away they go. Oh, they've accelerated pretty fast. And the Japanese bullet train is off to a brilliant start. Followed by the... Well, it's neck and neck between the Eurostar and the uh, Amtrak Acela Express. Um, oh, wait, no. I've done the wrong thing. Oh, I've done the wrong thing. I've accidentally clicked on the Japanese bullet train by mistake. Uh, I meant to click on the Superclass 47. Hopefully that won't interfere with the racing, but we'll have to wait and see. So, um, wow, these guys are off to a good start. Bear in mind, they are high-speed electric trains. So my speed is 174, but uh, speed limit is 175, but they're going way over 175. So I need to play catch-up here. So if I accelerate... Um, I am actually struggling to catch up, guys. So it looks like the Eurostar is in a slight lead. The Amtrak Acela Express has slowed uh, down a bit. But the big question is, where's the Japanese bullet train? There it is. Uh, it, it's, I'm, I'm speechless. Am I catching up? I think I am. 
Uh, oh my god, we're here already. How fast are we going? Maybe I shouldn't have programmed them to do 140% power, but nevertheless, we are still moving. Oh, it's very noisy. I have to turn the game volume down a little bit. See if that works. So if I try and link speed with the Japanese bullet train, we are doing about... Ooh, I'd say about 240-something miles per hour. I'm still trying to link speed. Doing 240, 245 miles per hour. I think that's, um... I think 144. I think that's that's how fast it's, it's going. That is pretty fast. I mean, I'm trying to, like, move the camera a bit so I can actually get a good shot. So it looks like the Japanese bullet train is in the lead at the moment, doing 244 miles per hour. Uh, uh, see the Amtrak and Stellar Express not far behind, and the Eurostar. Don't know how fast that thing's going, but um, that thing's still moving at a marvellous speed. But bear in mind, the Eurostar is a very long train. Oh, in the tunnel we go. Oh, the map is uh, the map's broken. I'm going so fast that the map hasn't actually loaded in yet. Oh, and I think I've just lost the sound. Oh no, the, the sound's still there, just the, for some reason the sound's gone. Um, oh no, it's back. The sound's back. How fast are we going? We're doing amazing speed. Uh, we're passing the Dreamhouse Farm. Oh, I love the Dreamhouse Farm. Uh, don't get distracted, Oliver. We've just passed the Dreamhouse Farm at a tremendous speed. Eurostar, is it catching up? I'm not so sure, but like, you know, it's still doing a million. Even though it's moving without and it's it's going without without its pentagraphs up. Now that is actually quite weird. But where's the uh, Amtrak Acela Express? There it is. You know that's still going quite fast as well. Oh, and uh, I got to play catch up here because uh, I'm moving too far away. Still doing about 244 miles per hour. But what about the how fast is the Eurostar doing? I can see it in the distance, but I don't know if it's catching up or not. In fact, what we're going to do is I'm going to slow down a little bit because we know for a fact that the Japanese bullet train is doing 244 miles per hour. But I want to see how fast the Eurostar is doing. Is it going faster or is it going slower? Let's find out. So there's the Eurostar. <laughs> Sounds amazing, doesn't it? So let's link speed. So that's 200, 220, 230. Oh, I think it's, it's doing... I think it's doing one mile per hour faster than the Japanese bullet train. So, they are, I think they're going about the same speed. Now, that is interesting. But even though the Japanese bullet train did have a, a much better start, but the Eurostar, oh, you cannot deny how beautiful and marvellous the Eurostar looks. Um, wow, that is, just, uh, that is just amazing. But the uh, Amtrak Acela Express is it's not too far behind. I mean, I could just see it in the distance, but will it be enough to uh, catch up? We don't know. I mean, I'm doing a lovely 245 miles per hour. It's funny how it's only doing one mile per hour faster than the Japanese bullet train. That is quite funny, but uh, but I'm not sure um, if it will be enough to win. But we'll, we'll have to find out uh, at the end. Because remember, it's the first train to stop. Those are the rules. As we all know, it's the first train to stop. And it is amazing how it's going that fast without its pantographs up. I don't, know, I don't even know how it's moving without any electricity. So if I speed up to 342, I'm doing 100 miles per hour faster than the Japanese bullet train. So let's see if we can try and uh, link our speed again. So slowing it down. And I think we've just passed the uh, power station. Yep, there's the power station in the distance. Uh, tra track is splitting and separating again. Doing about 248, 249, 250 miles per hour. And this is really fast for, uh, for... This is probably like one of the fastest races I've done, like... In a long time because normally I'm racing steam trains which are quite slow but it's nice to do a, a high-speed electric train that's nice it, it does make a really weird sound the uh, the Eurostar but where's the uh, Acela Express I think this yet seller yeah the seller Express is definitely falling behind because I'm not I'm not actually doing anything and the camera's moving all by itself right so we're coming up to the quantum tunnel now so uh, if we accelerate a little bit do about 246 miles per hour as we approach the quantum tunnel do a little toot the horn uh, everyone man out the way, coming through. Ooh, it's very dark. I can't, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't see a thing. It's too dark in here. I don't know what the light... Which, which button was the cab light? Was it I? Oh, I just pressed I. Now the sound's gone. Did I just break something? Oh, I hope I didn't. Um, oh, no, the sound's back. Um, <laughs> it's so cool. Like, when you exit the tunnel, it's so cool to see a, um, a high-speed electric train just, like, onto your uh, left. 
So I think the Japanese bullet train and the Eurostar are going at roughly the same speed. But remember, it's the first train to stop, which we are approaching our destination. So, uh, by the looks of things, I mean, I can just see the Eurostar in the distance. Will it be enough to catch up? I don't know. This is, this is exciting. But the Japanese bullet train is definitely slowing down. So we are now doing under 200. So it is, it's, it's definitely uh, applied its brakes. So I need to slow down a bit. Uh, going over the uh, the water bridge, uh, I think the Eurostar is actually catching up because, um, well, it's, it's, it's definitely closed the gap. And I have to say, the Japanese bullet trains are incredibly amazing because you have to remember, right? Like, it doesn't look like it has any wheels. I mean, it looks like a spaceship more than a, more than a train because you can't really see its wheels. It's such a, it's such a masterpiece of high-speed technology. Now, if I slow down a bit... Yeah, I think the, the, uh, the Eurostar is definitely catching up. I think the, uh, the Japanese bullet train has slowed down a bit too much, uh, which has given the Eurostar a chance to catch up. Where's Team America? I don't know. I can't see it in my sights. Uh, it'll be here eventually. Um, so now we have to uh, see which one is going to stop first. So it's a race between uh, Europe or Asia. Which one will be victorious? Let's find out <laughs> after the break. No, no, I'm joking. Right, so here's our destination. So if I think I should... Oh, that's the, the, the Japanese bullet train is definitely slowed down. So we'll leave the uh, Superclass 47 there. Uh, oh, it's going to be close. Is it going to be a tie? We, I mean, it has happened before where I have had a tie. Okay, Team Asia or Team Europe? Which one is going to stop first? This, this is a very close finish. It is very close. I'm a bit nervous, actually. I mean, I don't see uh, Team America. Oh, no, I do. I do see Team America. They're not far behind. But it's a close one between the Japanese bullet train or the Eurostar. Which one is going to stop first? Ooh, it's close. And the... Japanese bullet train stopped first, which means Team Asia has won it. And in second place is Team Europe with the Eurostar. Looks very nice as park it there. Fantastic. Now, where is Team America? Oh, it's not far behind. I mean, this was still quite a close uh, photo finish, I think. Oh, the uh, Eurostar is actually opening the doors, let passages on and off. <laughs> That's amazing. Um... But no, this was a this was a great race. I think um, I, mean, I think it was a very quick race. I mean, I mean it has been one of those races where it's just over in a flash. I mean, I'm surprised of how fast these things accelerated right off the start. I mean, it, it's it, it's like a jet, a jet train really. That's how fast these things are. It's it's amazing. So the Amtrak Acela Express uh, in third place, but it didn't lose that badly. Uh, it was still quite a closer. Uh, Quite a close race, I think. So park it just there, uh, Team America. Lovely jubbly. Just right there. Yep, that'll do. Beautiful. It looks very nice. But I guess we have to conclude this video for today, my friends. I mean, it has been a very quick one, but it was a it certainly was a fun one. But which team do you guys prefer? Do you prefer Team America, Team Asia, or Team Europe? Leave your answer in the comment section down below of which one do you guys think is the best. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Very important. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. So every time I upload a new video, uh, you'll get notified straight away. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description below if you want to. And if you want to buy some LazyJet merch, I'll leave a link to my merch website in the description below. If you want to buy some LazyJet hoodies, t-shirts, cups, you name it, I have it on the website. Go check it out. Make yourself feel comfortable. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. an expert at this stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe